Hello there, Science Kids! Welcome sa ating new episode ng Grade 4 Science Learning Activities. Handa na ba kayo para sa ating panibagong lesson sa episode na ito? My name is Teacher Lariza at narito na ang ating new episode para sa Grade 4 Science. In our last science episode, you have learned about the different stages in the life cycle of an organism. In that episode, you also learned about metamorphosis. Again, metamorphosis is a biological process by which an animal physically develops after hatching or birth. There are two types of metamorphosis. These are incomplete metamorphosis or gradual metamorphosis and complete metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis is a process that includes four stages. These are egg, larva, pupa, and adult. However, incomplete or gradual metamorphosis include three stages of development only. These include egg, nymph, and adult. For a quick review, can you identify what type of metamorphosis do these insects belong? Comment down your answers below this video. Science Learning Episode Stages in the Life Cycle of an Organism Egg-Laying Animals and Human Development Now that we know the different stages of development of insects, let us take a look at the different stages of development of egg-laying animals. All birds like chicken, ostrich, and eagle lay eggs to start a new generation of their species. Eggs have three basic parts. These are shell, albumin, and yolk. Ang life cycle ng mga manok ay nagsisimula once ang hen ay nagmate sa rooster. Sperms from the rooster will fertilize the egg cells inside the body of the hen. After fertilization, the hen will lay eggs. Ang mga itlog na ito ay may shell na nagsisilbing protective layer ng embryo sa loob nito. The embryo inside the egg will take 21 days of development until the chick is ready to get out of its shell as a hatchling. This hatchling will continue to grow through eating and nourishments as it become a healthy chick. It will start to develop its feathers and will change it around 7 to 12 weeks. Patuloy itong lalaki at madedevelop until it become an adult chicken which is ready to mate and reproduce again. Now, let us try to answer this activity. Look at these pictures and write your observation on the table given below. Ngayon naman ay sagutan natin ang ating mga guide questions. Una, base sa iyong obserbasyon, Ano-anong parte ng itlog ang kinakailangan sa paglaki ng isang sisiu? Pangalawa, ano sa tingin mo ang function o gampanin ng albumin sa isang itlog? Another example of egg-laying animals are amphibians. Ang mga grupo ng hayop na ito ay nangangailangan ng mamasamasang kapaligiran upang sila ay mabuhay. These animals start their life cycle on watery environment and eventually spend the rest of their adult life on land. Some examples of amphibians include frogs, toads, salamanders, and newts. Now, let us examine the different stages in the life cycle of a frog. The life cycle of a frog starts when a female frog lays its eggs among water plants that thrive in water. A male frog drops its sperms on the eggs. The frog's eggs are not fertilized inside the body of the female frog. After 10 days, the fertilized eggs develop into young tadpoles. A tadpole develops gills through which it breathes. Ang mga tadpole ay may buntot na ginagamit nila sa paglalangoy. As they grow older, its hind legs appear. These hind legs are helpful. They enable the tadpole to push itself to the surface of the water. Later on, the tail becomes shorter. By this time, its gills disappear and its lungs develop. The young frog can now breathe out of water. The young frog grows into an adult frog and life cycle is repeated. Now let us try to answer this activity. Write the number that corresponds to the life stages of a frog. Use number 1 for the first stage and so on. Do this on your notebook.
Just like any other organism, we humans also experience stages of development just before we were born and develop further as we grow older. Now, let us examine the different stages of development that we've undergone inside our mother's womb. Nagsisimulang mabuo ang isang tao matapos ma-fertilize ng isang sperm cell ang isang egg cell sa loob ng katawan ng isang babae. Sa loob ng 24 hours matapos ang fertilization, the egg begins rapidly dividing into many cells. Ito ay mananatili sa loob ng fallopian tube sa loob ng tatlong araw matapos itong mabuo. Ang fertilized egg na ngayon ay tinatawag nating blastocyte will continue to divide as it passes slowly through the fallopian tube to the uterus. Sa loob ng apat na linggo, ang fertilized egg ay magiging embryo. Tayo ay magiging fetus matapos ang walong linggo. It requires a total of 9 months in the mother's womb for a baby to develop and ready to be born. Now, let us discuss the different stages of human development after we were born. Number 1 is infancy. Ito ay ang period mula 0 month hanggang 2 taong gulang. Brain development happens at a remarkable rate at nagkakaroon din tayo ng physical growth and language development. The next stage is early childhood. It is also referred to as the preschool years because the ages is around 2 to 5 or 6 years old. As a preschooler, the child is busy learning language, is gaining a sense of self and greater independence, and is beginning to learn the workings of the physical world. Ang pangatlong stage ay tinatawag na middle childhood. Ito ay mula edad 6 hanggang 11. Dito, nagsisimulang mag-aral ang mga bata at matuto sa loob ng paaralan. The next stage is adolescence. Ito ay mula edad labing dalawa hanggang labing walo kung saan nagkakaroon ng pagbabagong seksual ang mga babae at lalaki sa pamamagitan ng pagbibinata at pagdadalaga. Ito ay may kaakibat ding ilang pagbabagong emosyonal. The next stage ay tinatawag naman nating early adulthood. Ito ay mula edad 20 hanggang 40 at maaari ding hatiin sa isang panibagong kategorya na maaaring tawaging emerging adulthood. It is because there are often profound differences between younger adults and those in their late 30s. Ang sumunod na yugto naman ay tinatawag nating middle adulthood na mula sa edad 40 hanggang 60 years old. This is a period in which physiological aging that began earlier becomes more noticeable in a period at which many people are at their peak of productivity in love and work. Lastly, we have late adulthood. It is generally viewed as age 65 and older, but there are incredible variations in health and lifestyle between the young old and the oldest old, who may be well into their 100s. Now, let us try to answer this activity. Study the pictures and answer the guide questions below. Number 1. Describe the visible changes that you can see in the picture. And number 2. What parts are visible in the last 4 pictures? Do this on your notebook. That's it, Science Kids! I hope you learned something new in our science episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe in our channel and ring the notification bell for you to be updated in our upcoming videos. You can also follow me on my different social media accounts for more updates. See you again next week! Goodbye! Now you can check your work using